Hi everyone, welcome to a new series I'm going to call Mixed, Me Mixed Media Review slash Mixed Media. It's basically going to be kind of like a Ryan Finn series of cool things that I like this week where she talks about like fashion and music and like mixed print, digital, and physical stuff. And so I kind of want to do that, but with my own spin on it and trying not to rip off of her, but this is heavily inspired by what she does, except I think our editing styles is a little bit different. The first things that I want to talk about, um, I have like different categories and stuff. This is, this has been a little weird because I haven't filmed in like, over a week so if this video comes up on Sunday you're welcome I really I did that okay but if it doesn't I'm really sorry like things in life are kind of rough right now but we'll get through it we'll do this together we are strong together so the first things that I kind of want to talk about is music some singles some artists that I really really like and I'm kind of going to pause in between just so you can like hear the tracks and also I don't get copyrighted because you know as, once I am able to do monetization, there will be a few ads, but yeah. The first song that I kind of want to talk about is Brian Haha's Eye to Eye featuring Ravina Gold and Aaron Memento. And if you're wondering why I'm looking over here, because my laptop's over here, and I'll put up whatever the singles over here will be. The artwork, and then the video, and then a clip of the song. So, here's that one. I'm trying so hard. The next one that I have is the one that I actually just heard today is Thundercat Them Changes, which is it's just like a bop, a hit, a slap, like they really did that. And I don't follow Thundercat, but I follow Zach Fox and they talk a lot. So here's this one. It's so fucking good. The next one that I have is Lizzo's. There's two songs, so I'll like do like five and five seconds of each, but I've didn't know who Lizzo was uh, like I retweeted like the memes of her like in her account because I think she's like the thick black woman who uh would did, a, did a lot of stuff with like the flute Bitch! I'll answer like a video she's like her live performances are amazing and intense but I didn't know that she did like music until someone retweeted uh juice by her onto my timeline and it's like, that's such a good feel good song. Like, let's just listen to it and like, feel good. Feel at one with the earth and Lizzo. The next one by her that I have is Feeling Good. And I think it's also like feeling good as hell. But oh my god, Eliza Kosha used this in her video when she came back to YouTube on her second channel. And just like rejoice in the eth. It's a, re it's a reality that is Lizzo and good as hell. My head toss, check my nails. Baby, how you feeling? Good as hell. Head toss, check my nails. Baby, how you feeling? The next track up that I have is Benny Sings Passion Fruit cover by Drake. And um, I haven't really heard Passion Fruit. Like, uh, I work at a place that has like an, a weird indie cover of it, but this one is really good. Like, I, I enjoy it. I haven't heard the original, so if you want to leave hate in the comments, go for it, but I really enjoy it. Give it a listen. Listen, seeing you got me And the last one that I have is comes from SoundCloud. Most of these are available on YouTube, but the last one, I love SoundCloud. Uh, I used to upload on there. Now I just like, like songs and stuff and I share it with everyone. Is a lonely chief, honey. I love you. Oh my god, this song is so cute. And like anyone who's a couple, like just send this to a significant other, or like send this to your family members, and this is someone you love. And it's, it's just a feel good song. Like listen to it. To feel, to something new. Okay, in the next category we have is books, and I don't have a lot to read because um, I have classes right now, so I'm not not really you know using my full brain cells. The first one that I have is Maddie Matheson's A Cookbook, and I've looked into it, my boyfriend got it for me for Christmas, and the photography in it is beautiful, it's wonderful. And then the stories, it's not necessarily like an actual cookbook, more per se, it's like he's retelling the recipes by going back into memories and like having these vivid stories of like him, his, his family members cooking these or him making these, like because he was a restaurateur. He owned a restaurant, I think he owned two restaurants, and then now he has a show on Vice or Viceland, and he's just living his life. Like, I want to be him when I'm older. 
The second one that I found is this interior design magazine that I found in the lobby of my college. And I believe it's the fall 2016 issue. I'll like put up a picture of it. It's huge. And uh, we're moving into a new place relatively soon, which is also kind of why like there's boxes over there now. I put up some paintings just so like there's something to look at besides like in my face and my crooked eyeliner and dandruff or whatever's going on. But yeah, uh, that's good. basically going to serve as some inspo for what I want to do with my house. Um, the last one that I found is that uh, I actually bought it at a half price bookstore back home when I was at home for two weeks during winter break. It's a uh, Chuck Klosterman's Killing Herself to Live, 85% uh, of a true story. Um, I w I've read like the first two chapters, I believe, and it's it's pretty intense as far as like mediocre, mediocre white men go describing their lives. Uh, I really enjoy reading it. The first part that I'm reading, like no spoilers basically, is uh, he's in a relationship with two women at the same time and he was hired by Spin Magazine to go basically uh, report on... I think I'm going bald. Um, basically to report on how, why and how rock stars kill themselves and the famous locations associated with it. But that's all that I have for books. This next category I'm very, very excited about. Um, I'm going to call it Internet Sensation. This is basically people that I've that I follow for a long time or new people that I found on the internet, YouTube, Instagram, uh, that I am genuinely in love with. I love all of their content. I follow them on Twitter. I follow them on Instagram. I follow them on Tumblr. Uh, I just enjoy them as a human being and also uh, with the internet, the not the internet, the digital content that they c curate, basically. The first person, of course, is Ryan Finn. I love all of her work, everything that she's done. She's sewing DIY fashion art channel, basically. Um, I followed her on Tumblr. She had like three different accounts. I followed every single one of them. And then I recently, not recently, I think I've been following her on YouTube for a couple of years now. And each video, all her editing, everything just keeps getting better with time. And I hope she's able to do YouTube full time and not, no longer work retail jobs because I love her content. I love everything she's doing. Like I'll insert like pictures and clips. I, I really don't want to take any like videos from theirs because I don't want to rip off their content and put it in my own video. But um, see for yourself, all of these people that I'm mentioning and just like enjoy and feel one with them and relate, not necessarily relatable, but I just love everything that they do. The next person that I found is Kaylee Chabib. Uh, she's basically an alternate version of myself in the different timeline, basically in real life and her YouTube channel. It's it's kind of akin to editing styles of like Antonia Garza, Emma Chamberlain, and uh, Joanna Cedia, where it's uh, you know that intense like Ken Burns effects and vines in the backgrounds and random effects. But imagine those videos that those teenagers do, but times 12 like sometimes I have to turn the volume down just because of the the like audio pitch is so high but I enjoy everything she does like I can relate to her especially when it comes to like having a disordered eating relationship with food um trying to be healthy but also it's just like you know the university sucks and things like that but I'll, again I'll like oh I'll put some pictures and some clips if I can but definitely go check her out for yourself if you can uh, the third person is Naomi John. She's a German YouTuber who has like a lot of American partnerships and stuff like that. The first video that I found of her is like her henna freckle fail video. And she's just like uh, very herself. And I think that's very refreshing as someone who's been a consumer of like the beauty community, drama and things like that. She It's, it's nice to see someone who's just wants to live their life and is also making money off of it. And not to say that other beauty YouTubers don't do that, but that she is truly herself and it shows in like her editing and her comedy and like her laughing with her roommate and stuff. I just don't like that she doesn't really like match her her foundation to like her actual skin tone. Like you'll see like her 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 like neck is like pink tone, but then she'll use like yellow tone foundation. But other than that, love most of her content. The last person that I found who's kind of again like a sewing DIY YouTuber who's like super super thrifty is uh, Makara Tours. All of her like content is really really funny like what she doesn't necessarily measure things she's like oh yeah this is as long as a uh, Hot Wheels race car track and things like that like she even competed in like a reusable um, like a sustainable fashion contest where they have to make um, clothes out of things that aren't necessarily typical sewing materials and I enjoy all of her content all of her videos like I think she uploads like once a month but that video is definitely worth the wait and I enjoy all of her content. I've been to a couple of her videos. The last category, last category I have is art and I'll uh, mostly put up their Instagrams. The first person I actually met in person um, when I was a part of the poetry club uh, at my university it's uh, Adio Media. All of his photography and photography is beautiful like the color palettes 
insane. The focus of like the subject, it's it's definitely he has an artist's mind and all of he does is carefully curated and I love all the work that he does. I'll put up some pictures and stuff. You follow him on Instagram if you can. I, I love it. And I, I actually think he's collaborating with another photographer that I have to like make a music video. Make, make a music video or make a full fledged film. I'm not sure on that. I might be wrong. We'll, we'll see if I'm wrong when I'm editing this. The second person is Gay Pony Boy, who I followed. Uh, is it Gay Pony Boy? I think it is. I just, my notes in here are also stupid and dumb, like myself. But uh, I love all of his network. I don't know if that's called that, but it's like where they have the, the hoops and then they sew on it. I don't know if it's necessarily crocheting, crotcheting, or like sewing, because I know knitting is different. But I just, under the guise of network, um, I know he has done some, so he did a piece of like White Diamond from Steven Universe. He's done some stuff from Bugs Bunny. And then he's done some stuff from like popular internet images and I'll put up pictures of course. Um, they're all like handcrafted with, with uh, handcrafted with love of course and I think that's beautiful and it shows in his work. The third person uh, have has been an inspiration to me. I've followed them since I've been a baby on Tumblr since I was literally like 14 years old. Everything she does, she just puts her whole heart into it. She is a uh, Seattle's music star uh, at Guava Season on Instagram and Twitter, I believe, aka Wayaba. She does music. Brown skin, mother of dragons, call me Kalesi. I'll burn and aid anybody that tried to come finesse me. If you bring in the healer, you know I bring the flake. Fashion, uh, art, all of the above. I enjoy all of her curated looks. I enjoy everything. I support her when I can. I'll include her band camp. Please go support her. The Seattle music scene has not been kind to her and I would definitely recommend you checking out her music and looking at her looks and just giving her a follow and donate to what she needs. The last person whose portraits I've fallen in love with, they do sketches. I think they do like oil work and acrylics. I'm not sure about acrylics, but they've also recently gotten to knit work as well with the sewing on the the hoops and stuff like that is uh, Malena Bozzini uh, at Malena Bozzini on Instagram. All of her work and stuff is like beautiful and you can tell she, well I'm not, she or them put a, a lot of time and effort into the work that they do and I think it's insanely beautiful and you've probably seen it on your um, your Instagram Explorer page if you've been on there and if you like like comics and art and stuff like that. But yeah, of course, pictures included if I can. Um, none of none of this in this video I own. I just want to recommend it to you because I love all these people's content and I think you should totally take a look at it if you can. But that's all that I have for me. I'll try to keep filming. This might be the second to last video you'll see in this bathroom because I am moving and I'm very excited. But thank you so much for enduring this with me and thank. I hope you check any of these people out and please support them if you can. Thank you for watching this video and hopefully it gets uploaded. Bye.